On 13 April 1919, the walled city of Amritsar experienced a horrific massacre. Lieutenant Governor Michael O'Doyer ordered his men to open fire at a peaceful gathering of over 20,000 people at Jalil Walaba without warning. Thousands of men, women and children were killed in this bloodbath. Sardar Uddham Singh, who was deeply wounded by this incident, decided to kill Michael O'Doyer, who was responsible for the inhuman act. Mel Singh, a member of HSIA, helping Uddham Singh to escape. हमारे हिचसारे के कॉमरेड जो बचे हैं कुछ जेल में हैं जो बाहर हैं वो टूट चुके हैं अब यहाँ कुछ नहीं बचा है पासपोर्ट लाहौर एक पिस्तौल चाहिए पिस्तौल के साथ तुम बॉर्डर क्रॉस नहीं कर पाओगे अफगानिस्तान में मिल जाएगा लंदन के डिटेल्स बाहर सीआईडी है गुड मॉर्निंग सर यस शेर सिंह फरार है सिंस वैन एक हफ्ते से उसके टाने में कोई रिपोर्टिंग नहीं हुए सर प्लीज हेलो रिफोन में एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एनी पासपोर्ट फॉर इंडियन सर इट मैचेस द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द सस्पेक्ट शेर सिंह बट द पासपोर्ट इश्यू इन द नेम ऑफ उदय सिंह सर नेम अगेन उदय सिंह सर asking for help from a British woman protester, Elaine Palmer. Elaine, Elaine, Elaine Palmer, Surat Ali, Surat Ali friend. You are not registered with the party, are you? Party? Yes, yes, I was. In India, HSRA, I was party. HSRA? Bhagat Singh's HSRA? Do you know that? Bhagat Singh, you know? Yeah, what do you want? I need help. I fight for freedom of five people. I fight for freedom of the whole world. What? Mm, no. You equal... You march for being equal. I know equal. I know free. First, my country free. Then equal. Then march for equality. This man visits Michael O'Doyer. Sir. Exquisite. How much for the box? Free, sir. Free. For you? From me? Yes. Uh, I know you, sir. I saw below you. You, governor. I work at a factory. Railways. India? India. Huh. That's the right. I have always admired in Indians. Willingness to please. India. Half of other terrible food. Never bothered to learn the language. But I saw the crown very well in India. The common people, they liked us. Never had any trouble with us. But the educated. Sir, some of my friends, not me, friends, students, they protested with the commoners. Students, communists, they incited the common people, they instigated the rebellions. Are you also educated, sir? But you seem rational. You are here in the art of the British Empire, making good, honest, lawful living like us. You are making good salesman. Thank you, sir.
Sir, I need job, sir. What do you do? I do good carpenter, good electrician, I do clothes. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do for you. Sir, I can polish your shoes. Mm, yeah, sure. Tell me, salesman, where were you in April 1990? I... I was... Mm, I remember. You told me you were working in the factory on the railway? Yes, sir. They deserve it. You can't rise in rebellion and expect a medal. Something bothering you, sir? No. Nothing ever bothers me. Fear was the key and fear worked. I ended Gandhi's soul force with a brute force. They were women, children, wounded. Their relatives carried away. Carried out, sir. There was curfew. There was martial law. Shoot at sight orders. People afraid to take people to hospitals. Nonsense. Nonsense. When we stopped at firing, that was the sign. It was good for them to go. So you think... It wasn't brutal? It was sufficient. It was sufficient. Eight March 1940. Talk by Michael Doyer in Caxton Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great privilege for me to be here to talk to you on behalf of the East India Association and the Royal Central Asian Society. In the war that is at our doorstep, the Empire will need all our fighting men. In the last war, I filled all the quotas for the Indian soldiers. Over 100,000 Sikh soldiers from my Punjab fought for the crown. And I made sure that the Indians contributed generously to the war law. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, it is not only our right but our duty to rule India. Without us, they will return to savagery, looting and killing one another. It is not only Africa, ladies and gentlemen, that is the white man's burden. With the benefit of my experience, I can tell you that these reforms have been effective. The country is unified once more. It is peaceful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to see you. Mr. Doyle. It's all over. It's all over. I killed it. I killed it. You know what I'm talking about? So Michael Adair, the former Eighth Governor of Punjab during the time of Amritsar affair, 1990, was shot by Indian man in London earlier today. So Michael was addressing a meeting of East India Association. The assassin who fired six shots in quick succession was immediately apprehended by the police. The sun finally seems to be setting over the British Empire. Like the elephants, the Indians never forget their enemies. They strike them down even after 20 years. Detective investigating Shaddar Utham Singh. I'm Detective Inspector. 
I am in charge of your case. You can start by telling us your name. What is your actual name? No. No. This is the Scotland ad. We did everything out one way or another. So, HSRA, Hindustan Socialist Republican Association, is this organization still active? <coughs> HSRA, you used to be a member. You were with the Bhagat Singh too, didn't you? Bhagat Singh ke baare mein baat mat karo. I have a whole history here. Oh, wake up man. They are not going to let you walk away from this. They are going to hang you like they did Bhagat Singh. What were you doing when you were 23? What? What I was doing when I am 23? I was just married. We were expecting our first born. I was the youngest detective constable of the force. Happy days. Mm. So don't talk about Bhagat Singh. You know nothing about him. So then, between you and me, what's your real name, ma? So there are so many passports. Frank Brazil, is this you? Yes. Huh. You haven't got a lot of time left. It's important for your sake that we know what your real name is. Ram Mohammed Singh Dazar. Prime Minister submitting a report on the current situation to the Prince. Your Majesty. There are a lot of Indian soldiers who are fighting for us in this war against Hitler. Are they not Prime Minister? A meek surrender to this madman would be to embody the voices of rebellion amongst the Indian soldiers. The decision of tattooing this name on his body, specifically Ram Mohammed Singh Azad. He definitely wanted it discovered and for that news to be spread. What is the meaning of this? Sir, this is a mm, symbolic of Indian religious unity. We need to control the press. No matter what we do, there will be many who will see his actions as act of revolution. Sir, Central Criminal Court. Sardar Uttam Singh has been represented to the court. Accused to take stand. Please stay out. Your Lordship, he has requested to take oath on the book of his choice. What sort of book is it? Is it seditious? No, it's Indian folklore, Your Lordship. A classical romance. Dear Ramya, he has the right to take oath on the book of his choice. Proceed. Illegally and forcefully. There is a key. 
not for crime. Why am I told to anyone? Be in prison if they hadn't committed the crime. No, no, no crime. I was just fighting for freedom. Freedom is my birthright, and fighting for freedom is no crime. May Kerala Chalo, I was protesting against you, you, and you Britishers have plunged us, divided us, looted us, robbed us of all dignity, and finished our economy. Thank you. 